Hello friends, this video trigonometry part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched trigonometry part 1 to part 9. Now we'll see trigonometric function where we add or subtract pi by 2. So in such case, sine becomes cos, cos becomes sine, tan become cot, and cot become tan. So remember, sine cos, cos sine, tan cot, cot tan. Let's take this right triangle. This is 90, so this is h. So if we assume this as x, x degree. This is 90, so this becomes pi by 2 minus x. So let's suppose this is theta 1 and this is theta 2. So here theta 1 plus theta 2 plus pi by 2 this is the sum of three angles, this becomes is equal to pi. Or we can say theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to pi by 2. That's why if it is x, theta 1 is equal to x, theta 2 is equal to pi by 2 minus x. So this is we have. Now, when you say cos pi by 2 minus x, this becomes sin x. I'll show you how. So we have this formula Pandit Badri Prashant. Hare Hare So this is sin, this is cos and this is tan. So when you are considering x, when you are considering x as theta, so when I, when I say sin, so I will say, see when I am considering theta as the angle, so this become base, this is become b1 and this become p1. When I am considering theta 2 as the angle, this is hypotenuse will be same, but when theta 2 is the angle, the line which is with theta 2, this becomes base, this becomes base 2 and this becomes perpendicular 2. So when we see, when we consider theta 1 as the angle for our reference, this becomes perpendicular 1 and this becomes base 1. When I consider theta 2 as the reference, this becomes base and this becomes perpendicular. So when I say sine of theta 1, theta 1 is equal to x. When I say sine of theta 1, that becomes p by h. So p here is this guy, p by h, correct? That is b p1 by h. When I say cos of theta 2, so when I am taking theta 2 as a reference, theta 2 is equal to cos theta is equal to b by h. So theta 2 is equal to b by 2 is equal to b by 2 by h. Cos is equal to b by h, theta 2, so b by 2, theta 1, p by 1. Sin theta is equal to p by h, theta, sin theta 1 is equal to p1 by h, cos theta is equal to b2 by h. So here we know b2 is equal to p1, both are same. So this becomes p1 by h. So now we can see sin theta 1 is equal to cos theta 2. Correct. So theta 1 here is equal to x and theta 2 here is equal to pi by 2 minus x. So thus we have proved that cos of pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin of x. Let me do once again. I have taken a right triangle. This is x. This is pi by 2 minus x. x I assume is theta. Pi by 2 minus x is equal to theta 2. Theta 1, theta 2. So when I am using theta 1 as the angle frame of reference, this is p1 and this is b1 because side opposite to theta 1 is p1 and side which is part of theta 1 is equal to b1. Similarly, when I consider theta 2 as the frame of reference, this side becomes p2 because side opposite to theta 2 is p2 and side which is part of theta 2 is equal to b2. Sin theta 1 is equal to p1 by h, cos theta 2 is equal to b2 by h. And we know that p1 is equal to b2, so this is equal to p1 by h. So both are same, p1 by h, p1 by h. So we can say sin theta 1 is equal to cos theta 2. And theta 1 is equal to x. And theta 2 is equal to pi by x. So we can say that sin of x is equal to cos of pi by 2 minus x. So this we have. Similarly, sin of pi by 2 minus x is equal to cos of x. We can prove this also. So sin of pi by 2x is equal to sin theta 2. 
so we are saying sin theta 2 and sin theta 2 is equal to p2 by h this is equal to p2 by h because sin theta is equal to p by h and cos x is equal to cos theta 1 cos theta 1 is equal to b1 by h and here we see b1 and p2 are same so this we can say p2 by h both are same so we can say sin theta 2 is equal to cos theta 1 so sin theta 2 is equal to cos theta 1 because both are same here and theta 2 we can say is pi by 2 minus x so we can say sin of pi by 2 minus x is equal to theta 1 is equal to x so we have proved this also so we have proved this and we have proved this similarly for tan we can do the same thing pi by 2 minus x is equal to theta 2 so we will say tan of theta 2 tan theta is equal to p by b so p by b is p2 by b2 and cot of theta 1 is equal to cot of theta 1 is equal to cot of theta 1 is equal to p1 by cot of theta 1 is equal to b1 by p1 so we know that b1 is equal to p2 and p1 is equal to b2 we know this this we know b1 is equal to p2 and p1 is equal to b2 so we see both are same p2 by b2 thus we can say tan of theta 2 is equal to cot of theta 1 or we can say tan of pi by 2 minus x is equal to cot of thus we know that when we add pi by 2 plus minus x sin changed to cos cos changed to sin tan changed to cot and cot changed to tan this we can remember when you add pi by 2 plus minus x sin changed to cos cos changed to sin tan changed to cot and cot changed to tan similarly when you say plus also pi by 2 plus x also when you say cos pi by 2 plus x also it becomes minus sin x why it becomes minus sin x because we have this all sin tan cos so when you say pi by 2 plus x this is in the second quadrant in second quadrant sin is negative so this becomes minus sin x sin pi by 2x when you say so sin change to cos correct and you say you you know that this sin is positive so this becomes positive because sin pi by 2 plus x when you, when you, when you want to say sin pi by 2x is positive or negative when you know that sin pi by 2 pi by 2 plus x lies in second quadrant so this is positive similarly for tan pi by 2 plus x x so for tan pi by 2 plus x this lies in the second quadrant pi by 2 plus x this is negative so whatever output you will get is negative so when you say pi by 2 plus tan change to cot so it is cot similarly for cot cot pi by 2 plus x second quadrant is negative so this becomes, becomes negative so when you're talking of pi by 2 plus x so cot becomes tan so this becomes tan thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again